so welcome back team hope you had a wonderful lunch and uh, so today's session is largely about district government licensing and uh, as you all know that uh, government licensing forms a very major part of our work at district as well as state level and uh, we have been trying all sort of strategies which have been working which have been you know not working very well but you know there is a larger area of development that we feel in an in our organization like how do you build good relationship with government uh, government officials how do you help them uh, learn certain practices how do you bring more sustainability in the system so these are the larger questions that we have been struggling with so uh, to throw more light on this we have a very special guest with us mayank who has been a uh, lead in governance in uh, good governance fellowship of punjab and uh, he has an extensive experience uh, working with the government as consultant at a uh, advisory level and uh, we have lot to learn from him and uh, so just to start with i would like uh, mayank to share his journey how did he started with uh, government consultancy how he started into this uh, whole area of development sector yeah. cool before i start i think couple of disclaimers yeah. i think one is just a hard time to stay awake before lunch so i will try and make this more interactive rather than i think one way two i think i have had my journey so whatever i speak today will be based on my experiences so take it with a pinch of salt it may resonate with what you do what you think what you feel it may not Uh, and i think third uh, i think my attempt today is to leave you with more uh, questions than answers because i think everybody is individually on their own journeys so i i hope if you find too many answers in this discussion i will feel defeated but if you go back with questions and a fire to possibly find your own answers i will feel a little bit more successful So coming out of the question, Aman asked me. Thank you so much. I think for for the lovely introduction. I think my journey has been uh, very similar to some of yours. At least the starting point. I started my journey in this sector with a fellowship uh, about more than dec more than a decade ago. It was called the Teach for India program. Uh, I think some of the other people in the room, like Ishpreet, have also done that program. So I will not talk a lot about the program, but I think the fellowship experience per se was very powerful because. you get a chance to get your hands dirty in the field which is what you guys are doing aap log bhi yahi kar rahe ho ki field pe ja ke actually education kaise hoti hai you guys don't directly work in schools but all stake important stakeholders whether it's the deo the bo uh, the cht the principal etc so i think you guys are also interacting uh, with very very important stakeholders and i think that's where i feel very energized i was here in the morning i didn't start the day with you but i think when i came in I think the Patiala team was uh, talking a lot about their achievements and their uh, journey over the last quarter. It was quite energizing. So I think my journey started with the fellowship, uh, and I think it was very interesting because you're just getting into a classroom. And I started about ten, a decade ago when Teach for India now is a is a is a more recognized uh, organization and a brand. But I think when we started, it was like an American idea. It started with Teach for America, and they said, "Kya chha India mein shuru ho raha hai? Kya karna hai?" and at least when i was joining it even before i applied for it the first instance was acha ye sare kaam to ngo wale hain ye weekend pe volunteer karte hain you should do your full time job and do do it like that and i'm sure you guys would have faced very similar situations and i think uh, one i think i'm sharing my journey but uh, i think listening about your stories some of you individually and i think generally in the group i am feeling very inspired that i'm part of this room because you guys are doing a lot of good work Uh, and very inspiring work because all the work that you do in the field is really really difficult i think ek kisi conference mein ya ya conference room mein aake kehna ki uh, we are doing something is easy i think doing it every single day in the field is very difficult so i think kudos to all of you uh, i coming back to my journey i think the field experience was very empowering and i think eventually i think i decided ki karna hai and maine join kar liya so the journey through the classroom was very interesting because i had always thought ki ye karna hai but getting into the classroom getting to understand ki kya challenges hote hain like how do you teach how do you actually deliver a lesson uh, or school education ecosystem mein kya hota hai like if the parents are not earning if the parents are earning if they are doing odd jobs to make their end meet 
इफ द किड्स हैव टू सपोर्ट द पेरेंट्स तो बहुत सारी चीज़ें होती हैं जो एजुकेशन को डिटरमाइन करती हैं इट्स नॉट जस्ट कि क्लास रूम एजुकेशन डिलीवर कैसे होता है लॉर्ड ऑफ इको सिस्टम आउटसाइड द क्लास रूम ऑल्सो इम्पैक्ट हाउ एजुकेशन इज इम्पैक्टेड एंड आई थिंक विद दैट एक्सपीरियंस आई आई एक्चुअली टॉट इन अ गवर्नमेंट स्कूल इन पूना ऑन दी आउटस्कर्ट्स ऑफ पूना एंड जस्ट बिकॉज माई स्कूल वॉज इन द लास्ट स्कूल विद इन द सिटी लिमिट्स ऑफ पूना अ लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम आउटसाइड पूना यूज टू कम बिकॉज दूस टू फील कि अच्छा शहर का गवर्नमेंट स्कूल है तो एजुकेशन विल बी नाइस सर हेयर एंड इट विल बी एंड दैट गिव मीन एक्सपोजर कि गवर्नमेंट सिस्टम्स हैव लॉट ऑफ पावर टू चेंज थिंग्स एंड एंड यू कैन वर्क इन सिस्टम यू कैन क्रिएट लॉट ऑफ इम्पैक्ट एट्सेट्रा एट्सेट्रा एंड वॉट दैट डेट वॉज आई थिंक आई आई हैड ग्रोन अप इन बिहार then now it's happened uh, and i had grown up in dalu as the chief minister so one thing i did not want to associate myself was with the government like i i did not have a lot of clarity what i want to do but one thing i i didn't want to do was work in the government because i always thought government is a machinery which is a machinery for corruption but nothing else uh, and that you changed significantly when i when i worked in the government school and I, at least the epiphany to me and i'll leave a little bit of journey specifically on education but i think the epiphany in my head was ki अगर कुछ बड़ा करना है अगर कुछ सिस्टम्स लेवल पे चेंज करना है तो गवर्नमेंट के साथ काम करना चाहिए एंड आई थिंक सम ऑफ यू आर इन दैट जर्नी राइट नाउ थिंकिंग अबाउट टेकिंग दोज बेबी स्टेप्स पॉसिबली थ्रू थ्रू द जर्नी हियर इन द फेलोशिप एंड ऑल्सो आफ्टर द द फेलोशिप एंड सो आई लैंडेड इन अदर प्रोग्राम विच इज कॉल्ड द प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स रूरल डेवलपमेंट फेलोशिप प्रोग्राम दैट प्रोग्राम वॉज अबाउट वर्किंग इन नक्सल एरियाज एंड द आइडिया ऑफ द प्रोग्राम वॉज दैट अ लॉट ऑफ money goes into naxal areas a lot of schemes are designed for naxal areas but those schemes don't reach naxal areas because of lack of on ground implementation so the simple two line uh, sort of instruction to us was that you have to go to the field do a lot of jugad frugal innovation or whatever it takes to get the schemes implemented uh, it was i think back in 2012 i think the intent of the program was say You don't have to create reports. Report ain't even any. You have to not sit in office. You have to be on the field, talk to people, figure out what's not happening, uh, speak to whoever in the district, whoever in the state you require to speak to, and then I think get things done on the field. And I think that was a very different kind of an immersive experience, uh, which brought me from the control environment of a classroom <coughs> where I was teaching and I was saying, "Acha, okay, I will teach my kids to read and they will go back home to whatever," to a space where. लाइफ वॉज हैपनिंग इट वॉज नॉट कि हेल्थ हो रहा है कि एजुकेशन हो रहा है कि लाइवलीहुड हो रही है कि उनकी सिक्योरिटी हो रही है इट वॉज एवरी थिंग हैपनिंग एंड दैट वॉज रियली कॉम्प्लेक्स एंड इट वॉज वेरी ओवरवेलमिंग आई ग्रो अप इन झारखंड बट द झारखंड आई वेंट बैक टू आई रियलाइज हाउ मच ऑफ प्रिवलेज आई हैड वन आई वॉज ग्रोइंग अप इट वॉज अ कम्प्लीट बबल एंड वॉट वॉज रियली हैपनिंग इन दैट इज आई हैड नेवर सीन दैट साइड ऑफ झारखंड सो इट वॉज वेरी ओवरवेलमिंग एंड आई आई थिंक फॉर द फर्स्ट वन मंथ आई रिमेंबर आई थिंक 20 days i would have just cried on the phone calling another pmrdf in another district and saying ki ho kya raha hai kuch samajh nahi aa raha hai uh, we had a district immersion where i used to stay in an axel village uh, and it was very interesting because i still remember it was about 48 50 degrees it was may, june um, and aisa tha ki ek panchayat bhavan tha usme it was very dysfunctional building but it will have like an asbestos ki chhat 50 degrees temperature outside पंखा लगा है बट बिजली का कनेक्शन नहीं है एंड जैसे पॉन्ड सो लिटरली लाइक एक हॉरर मूवी का सीन कि इफ यू गो इन साइड यूर फीलिंग लाइक यू आर लिटरली गेटिंग रोस्टेड बट इफ यू कम आउट एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू टेक अ नैप ऑल्सो यू फील लाइक यार समबडी किल्स मी हर इट्स एन अक्सल एरिया कोई मार के मुझे तालाब में फेंक देगा तो पता भी नहीं चलेगा सो सो आई थिंक दैट काइंड ऑफ अ लिटिल स्केरी पिक्चर बट आई थिंक दैट एक्सपीरियंस टॉट मी दैट सम ऑफ what government systems are they are very complex and we'll maybe talk about what you guys have experienced government systems as and, and if i can help you sort of delve deeper into answering some questions you have about government systems but the government systems are hugely complex there are so many actors there is bureaucracy bureaucracy at different levels there is political leadership <coughs> then there is the front line worker which is part of the government system there are non profit organizations like sanji sikhya that work with the government there is a lot of external influence there is some formality in influence of say politicians and bureaucrats but there are also pressure groups lobbying is not legal in india but that's also like an angle that you see so who has what influence so i think coming back to my pmrdf journey i think that basically taught me that 
governments can also be vehicles of change. It will be extremely difficult, but it can be also extremely rewarding if you stick around for long. And I think that's where a pivotal shift happened in my life. I think from a place where I was like, एक चीज जो नहीं करनी है वो है गवर्नमेंट टू अ प्लेस वेर आई शिफ्टेड एंड सेट कि इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रियली मेक सम इम्पैक्ट आई थिंक गवर्नमेंट इज द प्लेस टू बी एंड आई थिंक दैट दैट्स वन आई डिसाइड टू राइट सिविल सर्विस माई पेरेंट्स हेट आई थिंक ऑन अ पर्सनल नोट माई पेरेंट्स हेट लॉस्ट इट ही सेट दे सेट कि अच्छा टी एफ आई कर लिया अभी पी एम आर डी एफ कर लिया अभी यू पी एस सी भी करना है मतलब कुछ तो नॉर्मल करो लाइफ में एंड विच इज विच इज इन समेज मोस्ट सेटलिंग एंड आई थिंक my conversation with them was ki acha kuch karenge and i think i was fortunate enough to get get into an mba program uh, then so i did my mba and i did my upsc preparations gave interviews twice and i think when i gave my interview for the second time i think something internally shifted i felt ki maine main jitna kar sakta tha maine kar diya i have done all that i could and so i thought maybe this is not the way i i would i i am qualified enough to contribute i am not able to crack the exam but something shifted within and i just felt ki yaar और पढ़ाई नहीं होगी मेरे से थैंकफुली बिकॉज ऑफ माई पेरेंट्स आई हैड अ प्लान बी विच वॉज माई एम बी ए एंड दैट सॉर्ट ऑफ हेल्प मी लेटर वेन आई वॉज लुकिंग आउट फॉर अपॉर्चुनिटीज टू कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट आई थिंक फॉर द फर्स्ट आई थिंक वेन आई फिनिश माई एम बी आई डिड नॉट टेक अप अ जॉब बट आई वॉट आई डिड वॉज आई जस्ट ट्रैवल बिकॉज ऑफ टीच फॉर इंडिया एंड पी एम आर डी एफ आई हेड अ ग्रुप ऑफ फ्रेंड्स हुआ वर्किंग इन द फील्ड वो ट्राइंग टू बिल्ड देर ओन वेंचर्स एंड वो लोग बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग काम कर रहे थे सो आई जस्ट आई थिंक वेंट देयर फॉर इंस्पिरेशन and something came up and i i moved away from education because i realized ki bachcha classroom mein aata hai uske pehle bhi they have a life like they are born uh, a lot of what happens in pre nursery uh, during the formative years is very important and i think that's primarily in the domain of health but that interested me quite a lot so i i did some adventure in that uh, and again it was working with the government through a, a non profit but working with the government and then i think uh, i started to feel ki nahi yaar education is something one that that i understand to health me kaam karne you need a formal health degree i think otherwise you don't understand the nitty gritty of health i think all of you are working in education in some ways so i think the good part is that you generally don't need an education with degree you don't need to be a bed to be able to understand some of these systems because those those are more generic and then i worked in the consulting setup I worked with one of the big fours, and I I was working on generally school education projects, and I was working with governments, non-profits, philanthropies to say how do you work at scale. Some of it was strategy, some of it was implementation, and we'll talk a little bit about that. I think through questions, and then maybe I will I will be able to share examples uh, of what I did, etc. But I think this I think the last role that I was doing was specifically in Punjab, and. Uh, it was about managing a fellowship i think some of the young people like you are part of the fellowship that i used to manage which is called punjab good governance fellows program and i think one big big learning with that uh, specifically and i think there been a lot of learning but is is just that i think i come into this room with a lot of hope uh, that some of you are choosing to be here leaving a lot of work that you could possibly do uh, choosing to i think struggle day in and day out बिकॉज आई सेट अलियर राइट कॉन्फ्रेंस में तो जाके बहुत अच्छा लगता है बोलना कि अच्छा यार हम ये कर रहे हैं वी आर डूइंग दिस एक्सेट्रा बट डूइंग दिस एवरी सिंगल डे इन द फील्ड इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट कभी डी ओ कह रहा मेरे ऑफिस में क्यों आ गए वह समटाइम द प्रिंसिपल इज सेंग अच्छा ठीक है बैठो वील टॉक यू टॉक टू यू समटाइम द डी सी सेंग अच्छा आई कम टू द फंक्शन बट द डी सी लाइक अच्छा अच्छा ठीक है मेरे को सी एम का कॉल आ गया कुछ हो गया सो मतलब दीज आर ऑल हार्ड रियालिटीज इट यू गाइज ऑल आर ऑल आर फेसिंग so i think i just want to also acknowledge that you guys have chosen a difficult path so so whenever you feel demotivated i think just just reflect and and feel that you've chosen a hard job to do and and i think just the choice must have been very difficult for each one of you so so i think with that i will just say i think my journey has been a little bit of uh, at a at a big picture level i feel i've always uh, found interesting opportunities or i've been lucky enough to find interesting opportunities and i think uh, you guys will also find your own paths uh, but i think stay on the path that you've chosen so that uh, you are able to sort of make a difference and and do a lot of good work that you've started to do on thank you for sharing your journey i think it was very inspiring and touching at the same time and uh, while you were uh, telling about you know your first stint by working in the government you mentioned about 
you saw a lot of complexity in the government system itself like that was like one of the challenges you know and uh, can you elaborate more like uh, around complexity and, and what all challenges you feel uh, while working with government there are and like kind of like top 5 challenges you feel like you have been facing with the government yeah. i will try and make an attempt and maybe i'll ask all of you guys for help all you all of you also work with the government uh, so when the system is very huge and all of you will acknowledge that right the system is just you there are so many people teachers hain principal hain unke upar cht hain uske upar bo hai fir bo hai fir एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट है स्टेट का उसके ऊपर सेक्रेटरी है फिर मिनिस्टर्स हैं उनके ऊपर सी एम है उनके ऊपर भी आई थिंक उनके पोलिटिकल बॉसेज हैं सो द सिस्टम इज यूज एंड दिस इज जस्ट द डायरेक्ट लाइन विद इन द एजुकेशन सिस्टम देर लॉट ऑफ इनफॉर्मल इन्फ्लुएंसेज तो समटाइम बी एम एल एबल कमेंट से ये कर दो समटाइम अ बिग नॉट एग्जैक्टली अ पोलिटिशियन बट समी इन्फ्लुएंशियल विल कमेंट से अच्छा ये कर देते हैं समबडी विल कमेंट डोनेट मनी विच विल कम्प्लीटली अनरिलेटेड सो किसी को अपने नाम का टॉयलेट बनवाना है स्कूल में so i think the system is just very huge and complex and just acknowledging that sometimes helps because if i look at myself i feel like i want to create some impact in the system but i am just a very small part in a very big system and so i think the system is just huge and complex the second is because it is so intertwined and it is so complex the system has a very slow pace of moving which means there will be no knee jerk reactions generally except for one or two cases where either you see say for example covid where there's a knee jerk reaction cha kya karna hai or for example if edtech comes in and there is a complete shift in how education is delivered you will see there's something shifted completely but otherwise systems moves generally very slowly because they are large complex and have too many elements together the third i feel is <clears throat> each entity or each player in the system has a certain kind of role kuch cheeze formally defined hoti hain aur kuch cheeze informally understood hoti hain and i think that is important to understand when you work with the system because you have to pull your levers accordingly kabhi formal authority kabhi informal authority kabhi understanding who will so for example if i have to work with the do maybe the do should listen to me but why will the do listen to me mai kon just because i have chosen to do this fellowship he will listen to me uski to sarkari job hai so i think just understanding complexities and we'll talk a little bit about that in detail but i think understanding the complexity because every stakeholder because will have a different perspective to the same problem and i think the fourth and possibly we'll we'll close here is <clears throat> it's also important to understand how these different elements are interacting with each other what's their relationship because sometimes i work with say the teacher or i work with the students or i work with the parent but where do they stand in the entire scheme of things who's influencing them who's helping them take decisions who do they look up for support what values do they hold uh, dear to them unko kya important lagta hai क्या मुझे जो इम्पोर्टेंट लगता है उनको इम्पोर्टेंट लगता है नहीं लगता है सो आई थिंक मल्टीपल थिंग्स बट आई थिंक दिस थ्री फोर पॉइंट्स कम टू माय माइंड व्हेन आई थिंक अबाउट वर्किंग विद सिस्टम थैंक यू आई थिंक इन दिस शेयरिंग यू टोल्ड लाइक अबाउट डिफरेंट पर्सपेक्टिव्स व्हेन यू सी अमंग द गवर्नमेंट ऑफिशियल्स लाइक व्हाट द चेंजेस लाइक हाउ यू नो फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम देयर कुड बी डिफरेंट पर्सपेक्टिव्स लाइक हाउ डू यू व्यू पॉलिटिकल लीडरशिप as an answer to burning social economic problems how do political ideologies or like political leadership in, in itself influences the system the working the governance i think uh, i will go a little bit indirectly to this question my sense of the political leadership right now is in in a system as huge as the government where mostly all jobs are permanent except for contractual stuff politicians are the i think the one of the most accountable lot in the entire system unko 5 saal baad election ke liye jana hota hai secretary ki naukri 30 35 depending on when they get into the service rehti hai teacher ki naukri bhi retirement tak rehti hai do bo everyone else apart from the political leadership sort of has no incentive to work if i were to say ki consequence nahi hai if i come as a teacher mere upar whatever they can do multiple things but 
I will not be fired from my job because I have a government job. So I think that is why I feel hopeful that the the politicians, because of the system we are in, the democratic setup we are in, they have to answer or face people or at least uh, show a performance card after every four and a half five years, and they go for elections. So I feel uh, with that, I think understanding, I feel very hopeful that <coughs> system is koi to hai jo accountable hai. Otherwise, nobody else is accountable. Uh, Maybe a government job lag gayi, to lag gayi, ab, ab hona, and I feel like I'm going I feel like I'm going to retire. So, apart from that, I feel, and I think that is why I feel very hopeful. One, because of this, and two, at least the current lot of politicians that I see in Punjab are significantly younger than what I have possibly seen in Punjab and other states also. So, I think that gives me hope that they will reflect a lot of. Uh, reality or challenges and I think they will pick up those problems because one they have uh, a fresh perspective yeah. two they have a lot of youthful energy and three I think they have they consider education really important and specifically school education really important so I think I'm, I'm very hopeful of that mm -hmm. okay. thank you and uh, I think coming to a very uh, ground level issues that we all face while working in the district teams uh, Somewhere we feel that there is a lot of ambiguity uh, while working with government officials. One time you meet them, they are very much open, they are very well receiving and you never know like if you meet them after a month or so, their whole view might change. There is a lot of uncertainty that we face. Like what have been your view of relationship building with officials? Like how do you build that trust? so that they listen to you, they are open for the suggestions, all sort of things. Sure. I think just with this question, I want to hear from, I think, you, all of you also of what challenges you are facing, etc. But I think my, my reflection on this question is just simple two things, right? One, to build a relationship, I think, uh, what I have tried to do is also not just push my agenda, but also be considerate of what they think about and what, what they think is important. If, say for example, there is a DO and constantly you have to the secretary and all of that might have to do with infrastructure. You have to make it in that school, you have to make it from there and then you are saying, sir, we have to do teacher training. Karni hai. And, and the DO will be like, I don't have time. Nahi hai. And then you might feel constantly that this is not listening to me. This is listening to teacher training important. Hai. But I think what is going on, and I think the same is also true for me, right? I am not understanding what is going on in, in his universe. If mm -hmm. his boss constantly has un, pressure on him, that he has this school, he has fallen in school, he has fallen in school, he has fallen in accident, ho gaya, whatever, I think it could be something as ad hoc as this. But if his universe is, is constantly pushing him for something, that you are not aligned to, then possibly I think there's a clash, right? I am thinking X important, he is thinking Y important. Hai. To be able to, I think, figure out how do you marry the two, and I think there is no one right answer to it. I can share examples of how I have done it, Maine kaise ki I can share that. But I'm sure all of you guys are, I think, trying to do that in your own smart ways in, in the field. And the second is just being persistent at it. Because government systems mein logo ki nofri hai, lambi hoti hai, if you keep that relationship transactional, ki I to aapko teacher training ka proposal dena tha, aapne yes bola, uske baad main to aapke, uh, te, matlab, aapke room se gaib ho gaya, I will only come back next year, jab I wo renewal karana hoga, contract ka, ya mere ko dubara approval chahi hogi aapki, then I think they will see through it. So I think genuine relationship banane mein, I think one just being empathetic to what they are going through, uh, and two, I think just being consistent with that has helped me. But I think I would also love to hear from some of you of are there other things that you have done or other challenges that you think you would want to talk about except for relationship building. I'm just turning it over to you guys also. And I know there is dedicated time of Q&A, but I think just because we have started talking about <coughs> challenges in the government, I think it will be good to hear from uh, you guys ki, what are the challenges you are facing, what challenges are you facing district pay, yeah, for school. I know you guys don't work at school level, but generally we BO ke saath, ya block level pe kya challenges lag rahe hain? Eh, are people listening to you? People not listening to you? Uh, teachers ke saath, ya, ek level upar jab baat karte hain, plus two level ke saath, ek cheez ko lekar wo, kya kya hain, sir, aapki sab baat se hain. Um, 
जो कह रहे वही होना चाहिए हम भी करना चाहते हैं लेकिन हमारे पास डार्क बॉक है है ना डेटा हमसे हमेशा डेटा मांगते रहते हैं गूगल फॉर्म भरवाते रहते हैं दस बजे बारह बजे फोन आता है कि दो बजे तक भेज दो टीचर्सिंग Life is going well. One month there is sports. Randomly there is sports events, and now nothing else will happen. So this randomness this government has uh, really affects our you know, uh, work, of course. But because work doesn't happen, it starts affecting other things like general well-being. Is this relatable to everyone? ठीक है. So tell me a little bit more, and I think maybe I'll I'll grab some questions and answer them together. But because this is, I think, something very relevant. सब के साथ होता होगा ये. Government, this is very very prevalent. You plan for something, then you go to office and something else happens. Sometimes might be for a service. ये पना out of the track. You got government uh, assigned to you. उससे a inch left or right नहीं होता. I think that's somewhere. So I think I I think very very uh, definitely valid experiences. I don't think there is one right answer to it again. I think some of the things that I possibly have experienced on the field is uh, when some of these things happen. Like for example, if there's a sports day, you definitely can't take kids out and say, "Okay, I'm studying." But I think finding alternate venues and taking more ownership when that is happening, so that there is support. So so the school teachers or principals <coughs> don't feel like he. एक तरफ तो हमारा बॉस हमारे ऊपर चिल्ला रहा है कि ये कराओ ये कराओ या इंस्ट्रक्शन आ रहे हैं एंड दूसरी तरफ ये एन वाले आके हमें कह रहे हैं कि ऐसा करो ऐसा करो ऐसा करो सो आई थिंक टेकिंग अ लिटिल बिट मोर शेयर ओनरशिप इज इज मोर हेल्पफुल एंड दैट इज व्हेन दे सी दैट दिस लर्निंग इज इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड दीज गाइज आर हेयर टू सपोर्ट एंड आई नो इट विल बी इनिशियली वेरी डिफिकल्ट बिकॉज वन आई थिंक यू मे बी रिसोर्स कंस्ट्रेंट कि अगर हम इतने सारे प्रिंसिपल्स के साथ काम करें कैन यू डू इट इन ऑल स्कूल बट एटलीस्ट डेमोन्स्ट्रेटिंग दैट इन सम स्कूल मे हेल्प maybe mobilizing volunteers because of your local ecosystem may help and i think what generally helps when the system is over and these are all examples when the system is over unko nahi pata hai ki sports day hone wala hai suddenly aisa bola jayega ek hafte baad sports day karna hai and and people will visit so not that they have known it and they are intentionally doing it but at any situation that happens where they are also caught off guard like mujhe nahi pata tha sports day hona hai aapko bhi nahi pata tha but i think your plans are you feeling like hamare plans off guard ho gaye but i think just think about them right they have to also take ownership of that ki ye karwana bhi hai usko report bhi karna hai uh, syllabus bhi pura karana hai in some ways i am playing a supporting role and when i say i am saying anybody outside the government is playing a supporting role so sometimes i think there are two view points to this one i think because it's a large system and we are external entities as saji sikhya it's important to acknowledge that we have limited influence on the system uh and i think that's a very very important realization because the moment what 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 is really happening we say government is controlling right but the question that we are discussing is also the fact that we are trying to control hum keh rahe hain ki humne ye plan bana le to yahi hona chahiye 
गवर्नमेंट ने प्लान बनाया नहीं बनाया दैट्स अनदर स्टोरी एंड अनदर डिस्कशन बट क्योंकि हमने सांझी सीखा ये प्लान बना लिया यही होना चाहिए एंड देर इज नो रूम फॉर चेंज इन दैट सो आई थिंक दैट्स ऑल्सो अ रिफ्लेक्शन दैट वी शुड डू एंड से हाउ फ्लेक्सीबल वी आर टू अकोमोडेट बिकॉज दैट्स ऑल्सो अ रियालिटी दैट वी आर वर्किंग इन वी मे से कि अच्छा ठीक है हम प्लान बनाएंगे अर्ली क्वार्टरली एंड देन वी ब्रेक इट डाउन टू मंथ एंड डे वट एवर बट जो सिस्टम का कैरेक्टरिस्टिक है एंड आई गिव एन एग्जाम्पल राइट इफ आई जॉइन एज अ सिविल सर्वेंट वेदर आई एस पी सी एस एंड आई सी आर मैंने तो एजुकेशन में ही काम करना है तो मैं तो हायर में रहूंगा या तो मैं स्कूल में रहूंगा नाउ दैट इज अगेंस्ट द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ द सिस्टम राइट इफ एनी बडी ज्वाइन एज एन ऑफिसर वो सर्विस डिजाइन में है कि दे विल गो टू डिफरेंट डिपार्टमेंट्स राइट सो विल दे प्लान फॉर दिस और विल दे प्लान फॉर समथिंग डिफरेंट सो आई थिंक प्लानिंग with the reality of the system in mind is helpful and two i feel if you step up a little bit and say acha yaar yahan pe ye disruption aa gaya ab iske bare mein kya kar sakte can i step up my role can i move away from my role as an advisory for example or an enabler to say now i will help you execute acha sports day karana i will help you on sports day but i will aap aisa karo ki 5 ghante ka school hota hai to aap 3 ghante sports day kara lo but 2 ghante hum ye bhi kar lete hain ya school ka time thoda extend kar lete so you have you also have to think on your feet to say what is really possible given this external stimuli like agar mere ko bukhar ho gaya main ye keh sakta hu ki main to school hi nahi gaya 5 din ab wo kaise catch up karega but then parents teachers everyone sort of comes together and says yaar main ki padhai chhut gayi then my uncle also thinks acha maine kisi se notebook leni hai kya padhai maine ghar pe ja ke extra tuition karni hai ghar pe padhna so everybody i think in any situation because it's one child i think it's easier to imagine but when it's a system it's difficult to do but i think my response is to hold one i think we should not try and control and understand the systemic response here and two we have to step up a little bit from our role because the system demands that if we want the system to function in a certain way right i think it's a very good insight like to have this realization that we have a limited influence on the system and also we need to practice dynamism while on the field we need to adjust according to that and uh, like subsequently i would like to ask like if we zoom out you know we see macro level picture so we all are in the mission of you know systems change i think it's also a new age jargon and most of the organizations want you know like system should change owing to its magnanimity of scale and uh, like we we are always in this quest right how do system learn right we have teams that are working at the district level we have the teams that are working at state level both are trying to you know make some suggestions and everything but like how do you feel that what are the like there are certain practices that we really want system to inculcate you know, what could be the strategy like what 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 are the perspectives we must opt for like to enable that very tricky and very interesting i would love to hear from some people here of what what's really happening because i i heard some of the things that the patiala team was doing i would maybe love to hear from some other teams also because i think this is a very complex question and there is no one right answer to it so i may sit here and say ki acha ye kar lo ye kar lo this is a five step process i don't think that's happening i also want to sort of just acknowledge you guys are doing a lot of work in this regard so so what has been helpful to you guys and then maybe i can stitch it together and say what has been my experience but i would love to hear from all of you and and feel like acha patiala i heard definitely maybe bhatinda bhatinda is comparatively new so what's your experience is there people from bhatinda the people from roper so is is the question that aman is asking around system change what has your been your experience given i think not bhatinda but other teams have spent a significant amount of time on the field and and working with systems so are there examples that you have seen that have worked for you anybody from bhatinda i will excuse for for i think possibly to because they are comparatively new and i think you must be setting up anybody using bhatinda but otherwise roper patiala i heard and fatehgarh sahib yeah nobody is working on system change we to question is irrelevant i uh on the system change ka to pata nahi ha definitely hum to ye 
टर्म यूज करते हैं कि सिस्टम चेंज करना है ना और खुद भी, भी मानते हैं कि वो हम सिस्टम का पार्ट है नहीं चाहे वो एन जी जो काम कर रही हैं वो है बट हम भी कहीं ना कहीं पार्ट कॉम्प्लेक्स जो आप स्वाद कर रहे थे ना कॉम्प्लेक्स भी है उसका पार्ट तो है नहीं फिर एक और थ्योरी आती है कि खुद को बदलो सिस्टम फिर बदलेगा ये भी है थ्योरी है ये भी है मतलब ये तो बहुत बेसिक है बट अगर ओवरऑल देखेंगे अगर वाक्य में हमारा रीजन ये है कि हमें सिस्टम चेंज करना है तो सिस्टम यहाँ तक बना है और वो ऐसे ही नहीं बन गया वो भी चेंज होके ही बना है मतलब हमें जहाँ तक अभी वो टाइम देखनी होगी कि सिस्टम इवॉल्व होते हैं सिस्टम चेंज नहीं होते सिस्टम एक रेवोल्यूशन लाइक चीज़ है एक होता है रेवोल्यूशन हमें कभी उसे रेवल कर रहा है तो रेवल तो हम नहीं कर रहे थे हमें एवोल्यूशन कर लाने के लिए कहीं पे कैटलिस्ट का काम है कहीं पे स्पोर्ट वाला काम है और वो चीज़ हमें बहुत अच्छे से उस पर बिलीव करना होगा और वो बिलीव तभी आएगा कि मतलब मेरा ये पर्सनली ये मानना है कि अगर आप मानते हो कि ये एवोल्यूशन होती है और ये बहुत स्लो पेस से होती है आपने बताया सिस्टम स्लो चलता है और उसका एवोल्यूशन भी हो और उसकी उसका पेस तो और भी स्लो है और इसके लिए आपको कंटिन्यूटी में बहुत सारे एफर्ट्स कर, करते रहने दैट्स वाई दिस जॉब इज मोर क्रिटिकल एंड मोर कॉम्प्लेक्स एंड हार्ड है ना तो तो वो चीज़ है कि हाँ एक तो एवोल्यूशन वाला पार्ट और दूसरा ये भी है कि कभी कभार हमें सिस्टम चेंज हम सोचते हैं कि हमारे लक्ष्य टाइम में ही सिस्टम चेंज होता दिख जाए मतलब ये भी है ना कि बड़ी चीज मतलब वो भी हमें मान के चलना होगा कि हम तो एक वहाँ पे बहुत छोटा सा एक पॉइंट है मतलब तो हमें नहीं पता कि जनरेशन टू जनरेशन लग जाएंगी ऐसे तो एक थोड़ा लॉन्ग टर्म प्रोसीजर है ऐसा नहीं है कि अभी सिस्टम चेंज पे बात कर ली बट ये मानना है कि आपको बिलीव करना होगा पहले क्योंकि ये बिलीव सिस्टम बिलीव वाली बात है ना कि आपको कहाँ तक जाना है कैसे मतलब यूटोपिया वाली चीज़ है ना कि हाँ सिस्टम ऐसा हो है ना आइडियल सिस्टम ऐसा दिखना चाहिए इसमें ये चीज़ परफेक्ट होनी चाहिए परफेक्ट परफेक्ट चीज़ तो कभी नहीं होती और वो इवॉल्व होती रहेंगी और जो मतलब मेरा ये मानना है कि इक्विलिब्रियम रहेगा किस चीज कुछ ऐसे सिस्टम होंगे जिन्हों में बहुत गड़बड़ी होगी कुछ ऐसे सिस्टम होंगे जिसमें सब बैलेंस ऑफ चीज़ है वो है और वे हमेशा रहे और उस बैलेंस को इधर से इधर लेके आना ए से बी से लेके आना ये काम है और वो हमेशा चलता रहेगा और ये नेवर एंडिंग गेम है और ये मेरा खुद का मानना है और किसी को तो ये काम करना ही है तो किसी को करना तो हम कर लें तो ब्यूटीफुल ब्यूटीफुल I think one thing I would just like to pick up and build on specifically. I think I definitely agree to whatever he said. Is जो भी system बना है ना I think there is I would not say it's a perfect system. It's definitely a working progress. But उस उस system में बहुत सारी अच्छी चीजें भी हो रही हैं. So sometimes I think it's also good to acknowledge and build on that. Uh, and I think that's very critical. And at least my personal belief is systems as huge as the system we are trying to work with. Never transform, they evolve. And just like we say, na, when you when you appear for interviews or in preparation, do you say you work to your strengths? I think it's very important the system that we are working in that we recognize its strengths, and and try to build on that. And I think that's one thing I feel generally helps. The second, I think, what generally has has helped me is is. Being empathetic and empathy, I know is is overused, but I'm saying generally, we empathy. What we do is we use empathy for people who are less powerful than us. I think being empathetic for people who are more powerful than us in the system is also very critical. And and that's that will help us not solve, but at least really understand the complexity and and sort of devise ideas, solutions, or or suggestions basis their viewpoint. Uh, and having worked in the government, I feel like I can plan to do anything and everything one day, two days, but I just don't have control over my time. Just because the system design is as such. 
तो सेक्रेटरी को ऐसा नहीं कि उसको मीटिंग नहीं करनी या डीओ को मीटिंग नहीं करनी बट अगर उसके बॉस ने बोल दिया कि आप मेरे पास आ जाओ अभी चंडीगढ़ देन ही हैज टू लीव एवरीथिंग एंड गो एंड दैट्स अ सिस्टम डिजाइन मतलब देर कुड बी गुड थिंग्स ऑल्सो इन द सिस्टम वे यू से कि अच्छा उन्होंने कहा है कि हर स्कूल में एक टीचर होना चाहिए फॉर एग्जाम्पल राइट दे कुड भी टीचर लेस स्कूल ऑल्सो और दे कुड से कि खाना नहीं मिलेगा so there are certain things in the system that work really well i think recognizing that on building on that is important and the third thing that i feel gets really ignored generally and i think this is a smaller team so you guys possibly might be doing it S- big systems have al- also have good pockets of innovation so maybe system level pe kuch nahi ho raha hai but one teacher in that classroom is innovating and saying ki acha yaar aise karte hain isko problem solving या वन प्रिंसिपल इस यार स्कूल में फंड की कमी है चलो कम्युनिटी के पास चलते हैं या बच्चों को बोलते हैं दस दस रुपए दे दे सम पर्सन इन से सम सी एच टी सेम यार बच्चों की छुट्टी हो गई फ्लड्स आ गए थे अच्छा कैन वी डू द क्लासेस इन द शाम को पेरेंट्स से बात करिए सो माय सेंस एटलीस्ट फ्रॉम वट आई हैव सीन इज बिकॉज यू गैज ऑपरेट ऑन द फील्ड आई थिंक देर आर वन गुड थिंग्स इन द सिस्टम ओवरऑल बट टू पार्कस ऑफ इनोवेशन दैट वी नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई एंड बिल्ड ऑन Which also energizes system. वरना क्या होता है गवर्नमेंट सिस्टम में स्पेसिफिकली हमेशा डांट पड़ती है आपने फाइल नहीं लिखी आप स्कूल में नहीं थे आपके बच्चों को मिड डे मिल नहीं मिला यू विल रेयरली सी एनी बडी अप्रिशिएटिंग एक्सेप्ट फॉर जो स्टेट अवार्ड जो पेपर वर्क के थ्रू होता है बहुत ज्यादा ऑन अ रेगुलर बेसिस आई डोंट थिंक एनी बडी गोज टू अ स्कूल एनी गवर्नमेंट इम्प्लॉय इन विच एवर लेवल दे माइंड बी गोज टू अ स्कूल एन सेज यार आप बड़ा अच्छा काम कर रहे हो and i think that's one space where i you all guys can sort of operate and say this is really happening well <coughs> this is a good thing and i think that will energize the system it will also help you build your rapport but it will energize the system and and generally everybody is very critical hum bhi jab generally discuss karte hain room mein we say ki system mein ye nahi ho raha teacher nahi hai teacher training ho rahi hai adhocism hai control nahi hai etc 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 i don't know if you are conditioned to believe this way or ya fir we come to the sector of development as saviors but it's very important to recognize acha kya ho raha hai because there are sparks of innovation or mai personally ye manta hu and i think it may be a little difficult to just settle in and i will possibly leave that thought with you guys and maybe take up questions after that is that mai aaya uske pehle bhi systems chal rahe the mai chala jaunga uske baad bhi systems chalenge so am i attributing too much importance to myself maybe i have a journey to make and i will learn in the process but but enabling systems requires me to shift also in the ways i think and that's an inner journey i am also on not that i have because i work with the government i feel like yeah, i have arrived i think it's a it's a lifelong journey that i am also on seeing how government systems operate what uh, like the one thing that i have reflected upon and all of you work with ngos right and anywhere you see all ngos are trying to scale every and generally i think manu ankit will relate to this a lot anybody who does fundraising will uh, understand a little bit better all funders are trying to push ngos to scale because they feel like agar achhi cheez ho rahi hai to scale pe honi chahiye but the other extreme of scale is government where you find only problems so i am right now in my happy space where i feel like ha yaar ye acha hai hamari organization achhi chal rahi hai but there is so much of push to scale and you see the other extreme of scale is government where you see all the problems you you generally never see yaar ye acha ho raha hai ye acha ho raha hai ye acha ho raha hai you always see problems so i think that's that's a thought i would want to leave with all of you when you work on systems Uh, how do you want to see, see systems and where do you want to be when you when you work in systems uh, and how do you want to see your journey from one system which is possibly a little smaller to a system which is really big but then has tons and tons and tons of challenges and problems but possibly everybody aspires to get there and feel like a chair government ke sath kaam karna thank you i think uh, very important thing you told was like system is like a stagnant water i right? there's nothing new happening so there must be some pockets of innovation that can be energized that can be you know realizing the magnanimity of scale of government that can be replicated you know so um 
I mean, since we are also working in this space, there are we also have created pockets of innovations. We are also in a quest, like how to you know make it part of the system. Like so, district teams are working at the district level. We have our systems called cluster academic meeting (CSS). So we are constantly trying to you know uh, gather data around it. What are what have been impacts, and we have been trying to share with the state team as well, so that. it becomes a state level practice just what you said like how can we energize the system so that it becomes a whole lot of system that way so what do you think like what are the different things we can inculcate our, in our existing practices that can you know streamline this process of energizing or make it more robust in a way that the innovations are really taken seriously the suggestion that come and what do uh, policy makers think of while they are looking at different innovations different ways of working so i think even before i answer this question i i also want to acknowledge the system is not homogenous so i don't think there will be one thing that will work i think some things that the sanji sikati model does is just like the showcase right uh, and i think the second thing i believe which i saw some of it in the patiala slide also is is the people in the system speaking for it So if I am DO Patiala and I speak to DO in say Roper Fatehgarh Sahib, so Sanjeev Singh's team is. But if I say if I speak to DO DO in Mansa, yeah, our here is happening. And I think sometimes one is definitely the formula. Sometimes there are other formulas. 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 Sometimes there and i think generally the response is higher because if there is validation from within the adoption is very instantaneous they will say higher hame bhi chahiye log to aap bhej do then manway and ankit and other people in the team might say here hamare paas bandwidth nahi hai hum ek aur ek jagah expand nahi kar sakte but generally this informal communication that happens in the system is something that we definitely want to build on i think there is a lot of formal stuff that i think the team is already doing from whatever i understand whether it's reporting whether it's publishing whether it's I think actually sort of taking formal appointments. I think all of that is happening, but I think tapping into informal networks, right, is very important. <coughs> so, if say for example, if DC Roper is very engaged in the work, and DC Roper call up two of her, three of her batchmates and say, "Yar, ye team bada acha kam kari yahan pe. Do you want to work with them?" So, I think a lot of energy in the system is also informal. Sometimes formal channels take a lot of time and and. the pace of movement is very limited right so even if the do writes to say the scrt director and then the scrt director will say acha humne approval leni hai ye karna hai wo karna hai versus dc roper calling three of her batchmates and five districts working and then these five districts saying yaar hamare yahan bhi chal raha hai 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 then the state suddenly says yaar panch jagah to already chal raha hai this means this is a proof of concept already done let's let's do it So sometimes I think decentralizing the problem a little bit and saying that no, yeah, all the decision S C R director has not taken, yeah, all the decision secretary has not taken, because I think my at least the cause that we are working on is education, right? If you talk to any I S officer, they write they are passionate about health and education the most. They write a lot about in their in their preparation phase in their interviews they talk a lot about it, and I am saying, हो सकता है कि twenty thirty percent लोग काम नहीं करना चाहते हैं, but I think invariably good officers may say 70% people will definitely want to work on improving education so i think that's that's the energy and not just is officers pcs officers anybody who comes into the government sector kuch log ho sakta hai government jobs ki wajah se aate hain but i think a lot of energy still exists in the system where people want to create change and people in the system in the formal government system want to create change So I think leveraging them, them is very, very critical and important. And I think that, at least for me, has worked really well. And whenever I've been on the field, right. Thank you, man. That was very insightful. And uh, now I will like to open the floor for uh, questions. Uh, anyone who would like to quit, ask question regarding government systems, say yours. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. First of all, uh, I mostly resonate in like uh, how can we connect with the person who are in the system, and yes, how can we be empathize also and and uh, drive even 
asking for the wet fund. Uh, on this uh, curiosity level, there are so much of the welfare schemes, like did you discuss uh, around the PMRDF thing. So, so, so uh, pace is very slow, <coughs> complexity is high. So, what would really work if we are that level and we have the like responsibility of uh, disclosing the things to go and benefits with them? There are so much schemes. But what, what, uh, what can work? If we are in that role, so, I think if I go back to my PMR discipline, so, so kuch hai, I think from whatever I am hearing, I think you are trying to solve an ecosystem level problem, kitni sari schemes hai, itna slow process etc. So, kuch hai to design ka pa, fa, fault hai. So, if my car ka design faulty hai, then I cannot say that its efficiency will increase. If you put so much petrol in it, it will petrol waste hoga because the design is the so I think कुछ चीजें हमारे control में नहीं होंगी हमेशा because the design of the system is such क्या अगर मैं driver की seat पे नहीं बैठा हूँ मैं पीछे बैठा हूँ मैं driver को कितना भी कह लूँ कि आप ऐसे brake लगाओ आप ऐसे clutch दबाओ आप ऐसे accelerator दबाओ तो वो नहीं होंगी तो कुछ चीजें I think some of the things that we work with are also our constraints of where we are and how we operate like for example Sometimes I think, and this is a little bit of tangent. Say, for example, if government starts to pay for NGOs, right, and shy pura paisa na but kuch paisa to they will start taking NGOs more seriously. Abhi sara kam kyunki unko free mein milta, unko lagta hai, ha, to aa jaate hai, paas meeting karne ke liye. Somehow, the work that you guys are doing is also state's responsibility, na? State ki responsibility hai education deliver karna, health deliver karna. All of us are helping the state do that. So instead of being grateful in some ways or thankful in some ways that you are helping us they will be like come here NGO wale fir se meeting karne ke liye inke paas to kaam hi nahi hai to aa jate hai mere paas report lekar but that's a, just a system design problem na usko aap change nahi kar sakte ho so i think to your question my sense at least the way i am thinking is wo jo evolution hota hai wo bahut dheere dheere hota hai now the government is starting to think of a portfolio approach jaise if you look at haryana they have done like a parivar pehchan patra which means the pivoting of all schemes and funding will happen at a family level. Then you have education, ki ho, health, ki ho, insurance, ki ho, livelihoods. Ki ho. So I think that's an ecosystem level change that will help you improvise on delivery, kaise ho hai, efficiency. Kaise hai. In this system, I think there is a lot of here and now that you will have to do, which may not, you may not be able to move to what you are at least intending to. Mere kuch samaj aaya. Whatever you are saying, ki, ecosystem kaise shift hota hai, wo dhiri dhiri shift hoga and some of these things will happen by the change in policy which will happen at say the state level which again will be influenced by so many things ki government will kya soch rahi hai political parties kis tarike se apna usp create karna chahi hai bahut sare factors honge uspe but i don't think at, at your level in school this will change significantly at in in say the tenure of the fellowship for example I have a personal question. Mm -hmm. uh, I know you recently completed Acumen Fellowship, right? So, maybe your top learnings from specifically that program or your generic understanding of going through a leadership program and uh, your interest and your experiencing in working with yourself in able to do the work that you do. Oh, what heavy a question, but I'll try <coughs> and answer it in chunks, right? One, I think the any leadership development program, I've only gone through one, which is Acumen. I think I felt the, the program is more inward looking, which helps me understand my values, my motivations and my uh, reasons for taking decisions I've taken in life. Uh, and it helps me understand a little bit more about myself to help me figure out w what suits me better. Like, for example, if I'm a self started as working, the government helps me better. Or should I go work in the private sector and bring in more capital in the government? Yeah, yeah should I start a own enterprise? The second bit, bit to that is, I think, uh, generally, I feel, is sector may, there is a, because this sector is growing by default, there is a lot more variety available, which also helps create more opportunities. Like, for example, if like the बहुत कम लोग इस सेक्टर में आते थे तो देयर वाज नो लाइक कि कंसल्टिंग भी हो रही है नॉन प्रॉफिट भी है फंडिंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस भी हैं सो आई थिंक 
going through a leadership program at least has helped me understand ki the space has evolved maybe when i started it was not there and that reality comes in because you generally in a in a, in a program you also come across many peop- other people doing it in different ways so that helps uh, anchor you in the reality of it and i think how it helps me in the work that i do is understand some of the things i talked about if the system is very complex is it completely my work or is it completely somebody else's work or is it a joint shared responsibility and i'll just talk a very brief example right uh, as somebody who was managing the fellowship program i was responsible for learning development onboarding of fellows now with the same <coughs> content being delivered in the induction program different fellows took away different kinds of uh, learnings away with the same sort of structure different fellows are performing differently so while there is one responsibility that i may have of creating or curating a learning experience or curating like a reporting structure or a, or a capacity building structure it's also the ownership of the fellows of how much they want to learn and grow and how much they want to take ownership i think that has significantly shifted for me and that has given me a lot of uh, uh, i think i would not say control at, at least initially i was trying to control quite a lot but i think that has given me a lot of satisfaction in saying i can do things to a certain extent beyond which it is not only my work it's also work one of the group together and two it's it's a lot of work of the individual fellows as well and we we are working collectively on this so it's not just my responsibility and i think that's been one one of my big learnings in in this program one last question mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Uh, so um, it's safe to say that working with the government is full of uncertainty right and as an individual one of our needs is certainty and predictability for somebody who's that side is very strong you know that you're somebody who loves structures and processes and you know you like that some of your time at least the working hours are counted for what would be your uh, suggestion or uh, Like just like a friendly advice to that person to excel working with the government. So I think there are two things I would say. One, I think think about the career choice you are making. Uh, and I I have said this to a couple of friends who worked in consulting. Uh, is if somebody loves work life balance etc. Right, consulting is not the place for them. Just changing the question yeah. to help you think about it. Then you have to think a little bit uh, around saying organizations which focus on uh, consulting values rigor. So if I go into an ecosystem that values, say for example, uncertainty, then am I making the right career choice given my understanding of my needs, my realities, and my sort of uh, criteria to thrive in an ecosystem? And second, if you've made that choice and you think it's irreversible, then thinking about what can you do within the setup, right? So saying that I will create this structure within my my time. and and do something like like for example how i will give an example how you should do it like between 10 to 4 i will have no control over my time so i will schedule meetings 8 to 10 or 4 to 6 and i will ask for reading material at least one or two days in advance so that in the 10 to 4 whenever i have time at least i am able to read and prepare for the meeting and i will write notes so th- that takes care of the unstructured part also ki 10 to 4 mai koi meeting schedule nahi karunga because i know kabhi bhi kisi ka call aayega is meeting mein jana hai us meeting mein jana hai but 8 to 10 and then 4 to 6 then i will put that structure in place and i'll say i will do my reading i will do my preparation so there there could be things that you could do but if you fundamentally disagree then i think it's also a career choice that you're trying to make then is this a space you want to be or there are other avenues to do it like for example do you want to go to a funding organization where then you are removed from the field but then your job is more structured ki ha mujhe proposals padhne hain i have to make funding decisions sometimes maybe i have to visit field etc because the ecosystem is growing and so everybody should find roles according to their strength sometimes it is lack of information sometimes also what is more glamorized uh, and sometimes it's also just the recency and and the more presentness of what you see that you take up certain things but these are career choices that also have an Im- implication like for example in in b school because i did mba they say you don't choose careers you don't choose jobs you choose lifestyle so if you go to consulting if you go to investment banking possibly you may be earning more from compared to your peers 
but then you're also having a certain kind of lifestyle where you're away from home where you, where you're away from family where, where you're working 14 hours a day so i think some of these considerations at least when i was graduating from college or b school were not happening but i think now the space is evolving to talk about these constraints these preferences personal priorities and then clubbing it to say i said this is what i want to do next then because i want to thrive in my work and quick follow up to that a lot of times you know it feels like the days are very unproductive because meetings ho rahe hain fir kuch nikal ke nahi aa raha hai and i'm just sitting at the end of the day thinking yaar char meetings to kar li par kuch bhi aisa nikal ke nahi aaya ki agle din uthne ki motivation so how do you keep your motivation so there are good days and bad days i think to say पांच उंगलियां भी बराबर नहीं टू से एवरी डे विल बी प्रोडक्टिव आई थिंक एट लीस्ट टू मी फील्स लाइक इट्स टू मच ऑफ आइडियलिज्म यूटोपिया सो आई नो इट्स गोइंग टू बी गुड डे एंड अ बैड डे एंड आई थिंक आई पर्सनली फाइंड सम एंकर्स टू सॉर्ट ऑफ एंड माय डे लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल व्हेन आई कम बैक फ्रॉम ऑफिस आई कुक एंड सो टू मी दैट सिग्नल्स एंड ऑफ टुडे एंड समटाइम्स आई जर्नल इफ इट्स अ रियली बैड डे और अ रियली गुड डे आई जर्नल टू एक्सप्रेस माय इमोशंस सो इट आल्सो हेल्प्स मी गेट ओवर दैट एंड आई एम जस्ट शेयरिंग आई एम शेयरिंग व्हाट आई डू मे मे नॉट वर्क फॉर यू इट मे नॉट आई थिंक बी द मंत्रा फॉर एवरीवन बट लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल मेडिटेटिंग इन द मॉर्निंग इज समथिंग दैट हेल्प्स मी स्टार्ट माय डे विद एन एंकरिंग सो इट्स लाइक अ रीसेट बटन फॉर मी सो देन आई एम ओवर द लास्ट डे एंड आई थिंक जस्ट एक्नॉलेजिंग कि एवरी डे इज गोइंग टू बी डिफरेंट so uh, i think with this last question uh, i think we have come to to the end of the discussion thank you so much everyone uh, post lunch staying yeah, awake <laughs> i just feel proud of myself that i am able to i think keep most of you awake if not all <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i think we got uh, some really good insights considering you know innovations how they can be pockets of energizing to the government scale in which you know government operates you know and uh, also like what what the uh, what kind of dynamism should practice on the field and uh, also like how it can be align you know our uh, organization priorities with what government is trying to achieve and also how do you identify the strengths <coughs> of the system and start building upon that so i think that was very insightful uh, discussion and now i like to uh, request yeah. and <laughs> and get please and get please come thank you thank you so much kitab aise rakhte hain ha yeah thank you so i'll i'll share something ha huh? so i have no known mayan I think since 2014, when I worked with his brother, younger brother, yeah, and his younger brother, like we we shared an apartment, we lived together for a year or so, and his younger brother kept on saying, "Teri na mere bhai ke saath banegi, toh toh rahe." Like he like he was like uh, always like you should definitely meet my brother, yeah. And I first met my I think maybe 2015 or something, and uh, I've really seen him. constantly reinventing himself every few years uh but staying on the path of his purpose and, and now he is so the longest time in punjab now for two years and we really wish punjab continues to benefit uh, from your knowledge and wisdom thank you thank you and ankit i think was one of the big reasons i am here in punjab when the role i was in came up ankit said you will really like it come we work together in punjab so ankit is definitely one big reason Something I did not share when I started the conversation. Thank you, Ankit. Thank you. And thank you, everyone, for being such a lovely audience. Mm-hmm.